Hi, I'm Mia from Zealous. Today I'm going to show you how to use Kubernetes to deploy Mobius cluster. There are mainly two sections in this video. The first of which I'm going to introduce a Mobius sharding middleware, it shards. The second part is deploying Mobius cluster in Kubernetes. Currently, our Mobius server runs on a single node. However, in production environment, we need cluster solution to handle more data. Thus, our team developed a Mobius cluster sharding middleware, Mishars. It handles request forwarding, read rest operation, horizontal and dynamic scaling. The right picture shows how Mishars works. It cascades a request from upstream down to its submodules, splitting the upstream request, and then collects and returns the results of the subservices to upstream. Now that we basically understand Mishars, let's deploy the Mewis cluster. The components of the example cluster are one Mishars node, one Mewis write-only node, one Mewis read-only node, a shared storage service, and metadata service. If you want to scale the read nodes or Mishars nodes, set their parameters in config file. Okay, about the deployment steps. First, prepare Kubernetes cluster shared service service and help. Then we can follow the tutorial we post on GitHub. Okay, uh, first we need to set the storage class. A storage class provides a way for Kubernetes administrators to describe the classes of storage they dynamically offer. Here we choose NFS client provisioner that mounts an NFS export from an existing NFS server. After pulling the source code, uh, we need to edit values.yaml. Here you need to uh, set the server as the IP of NFS server and set the path as shared directory. As for mod options, um, we need to set it according to our needs, like the version of NFS we are using is for. Save the file and then quit. Now we can use Helm to install NFS client. Okay. Now we can use kubectl to check the storage class. Now the default storage class in this Kubernetes cluster is NFS client. And then we need to install the chart of Mavis cluster we released in GitHub. As the previous steps, we pull the source code and install it. Now we can use get pause command to check if pause starts successfully. Uh, it's going to take a while to get initiated. We can check its service. Okay, you can see the uh, service in this Kubernetes cluster. And we can check the status of pods. It's still initiating. Uh, we can take this time to look around our GitHub. We post some solutions and application scenarios and our worker camp. Uh, if you are interested in Mavis, uh, welcome to start our repositories. Okay. Now you can use this cluster to process massive data. The whole installation is pretty simple and clear. If you are interested in more solutions and applications of Melvis, uh, subscribe our YouTube channel and join us at GitHub Discussion or Slack. See you in the next video.